Welcome to Everyday KT number 136. Uh, if you've been paying attention to my Instagram videos from today, you'll know exactly what we're talking about today. It's called Patience. Patient, patience and the long game. And those of you who watched Fridays, this past Fridays, you'll understand that I am completely fed up. Hey Mark, completely fed up with people trying to sell the quick, instant, get rich. Do this thing today and you'll get rich. So I'm going to show you the other side of that coin. The long game, the slow, patient, methodical, constant effort and work, and no, nothing in my mind can personify what that is than a fisherman. Hey, Mike, a fisherman. Because and and why is that? So especially the old school fishermen, the the fly fishermen, they sit there at their house for hours with literally a naked hook, a bunch of thread and some feathers and they make flies by hand with pliers and a magnifying glass and a little tiny vise. And that's just the bait. Then they gotta figure out their reel, get their rod squared away and then get to where they're going you know, the best fly fishermen, they're hiking miles and miles and miles out into the woods. You guys know how big a trout is? The last one I saw was only about this big. It's not a big fish. It's not like you're catching marlin in the middle of the Dakotas. It's a small fish. And then you get out there. You got your hip waders on. You got your old school basket. And you got your little basket and your waders and your... Your vest, actually it's kind of like this, but it's got like Velcro patches all over it for your flies and stuff. And you're sitting there, and you're just sitting there fl catching this, fl uh, flicking this thing back and forth. Where the weight of the line is what actually gets that hook moving, not the thing on the end. And it just sits there and floats on top of the water. Hours and hours and hours to catch a little fish. Now, granted, you got to eat, but that kind of effort, that kind of determination, that kind of patience and drive to sit there and put all of that effort and work in to catch a fish. Now, granted, trout taste good. I've had them. They're awesome if, they're, if you cook them right. They taste fantastic. But that's that, that kind of dedication to your craft just to get a fish is awe-inspiring because that, now if you take that, that particular mentality, now apply it to your life. Think about the next day you're going to go to work. It's not you get in your truck, your car or vehicle or you, the bus or however you get there, you show up and you punch it in and like, okay, time to start work. No, it's the day before. You're like, okay, I gotta go to work tomorrow. What am I gonna do today to make tomorrow more productive? You know, especially and especially the entrepreneurs. Now, the folks where you just go and you do your hourly job, you go, you work, you leave. Yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's a the hat. It's, it's my old school Patriots hat. So, if you're just punching a clock, probably not a whole hell of a lot of benefit to you prepping for that job. Now, what is your other job? What's the thing you want to do? Because obviously, if you're just going into punching a clock, that's what pays the mortgage. That's what pays the rent, the bills, it feeds you, it, it gets you going. What's your other job? What's the job that you want to do, that you want to happen, that you want to be doing in five years and that's it. That is where you put in the work. You start slow, you work at it, you put in the time and the effort. And if you're going in tomorrow, see it's Sunday night, tomorrow's Monday, you should already have some kind of idea what the hell you're gonna do tomorrow. Because if you show up and you know what's going on and you're ready, Boom, eight, nine, whatever time, whatever o'clock it is, you show up in the morning, you're running. 
instead of sitting there, okay, flip open your phone or your tablet or whatever, what the hell do I do? And I'm not talking about sitting there with six pages of spreadsheets taking out every 15 minute block, but is tomorrow a client day? Is tomorrow a new client day? Is it a go visit an existing client and make them happy because the shit hit the fan last week? Is it a go check up on a client and saying, hey, I see this is what you're doing. To, this is what you're doing. It's not really what you've had coming down the pipe in the past. Let's sit here and talk about how we can help you do your job better and how we can make you look better in public, depending on what your job is. You know, just coming from my job. You know, is it a prospecting day where you guys say, you know what? Let's go find some new people to help. Is it uh, how do you improve the company day? Figure it out ahead of time. Because if you do that a little bit ahead of time, it'll help tomorrow. Now, if you be patient and you just set the seed, instead of walking in and saying, hey, we got this awesome thing, and you grab a crowbar, or worse yet, a crappy weed eater, and you go, boom, buy my stuff, who cares? You walk in and say, hey, we can, we can help you out. Let's see what you what see what you want. Let's see what we're doing. Maybe we can make something happen. And then get kind of tentative, like, eh, I don't know you. We talk to you very often. Gotta build that relationship. Patience. Patience is what's going to help you succeed and win. Doesn't matter what the job is. Because you go that first time, like, eh, I don't know. You talk to that same person six, seven, eight, ten more times. Every time you're like, well, this is what she's doing. Say, hey, you know, I've been watching what, what your company's been doing over the past three months and whatever it replies to your job. You know, I can actually help you do that better because you're missing on these three or four different things. And if you did these things, we'd kick you some ass. So that's where the patience comes in. Because if every single time you're in there, it's for the quick hit, the boom. I'm walking in, I'm walking out signature every single time. It's not going to happen. That's just not, that's just not realistic. I mean, think about any one of you who's had any kind of job. How many people have you talked to have said, yep, I want to do that. No, I want to do that. No, I want you to do this by myself. No, simple. How many of you have kids? How many of you have said, they, they come up and say, mommy, daddy, I want this. And you're like, no, exact same thing. Half. To have patience because the only time you're gonna do well in the really short game is if you either hit the lottery and it's a winning ticket in your hand or well I really can't think of any other anything else you hit the lottery boom okay instant boom right there and there done everything else you have to have patience have to put in the time the put in the effort and do the work. You can't just sit and say, boom, I'm going to do this and I'm going to be rich next week because some guy on TV said so. Not going to happen. So you got to be patient. I mean, think of it this way. Go back to those, that fisherman. Guy walks into Walmart, buys a pole, buys a rod and reel, grabs a can of worms out of the refrigerator, gets some leaders, some hooks, some whatever, and if that guy shows up on the water and expects to have fish in his in the uh, in the fish box in five minutes, no. Anybody who's gone fishing knows that that's not reality. The only time you're going to do that is if you're at Bass Pro Shop when they have the fishing tournaments and they stock the pond and say, "Look, there's the fish. It's right there. Grab it with your hands if you can't get it to bite your hook." I don't. Fish at Bash Pro Shop very often. I like to go fishing in the woods or out in the ponds or whatever. So it's unrealistic. You're not just going to show up and boom, instant success. Look at all these hugely famous people. How many of them had it had an overnight success and actually kept going? Very, very, very few, if any. They put in the time. They put in the work. They mastered their craft and they kicked ass. Every single day for years in most cases. 
before anybody even batted an eyelash at him. Like, oh, who the hell are you? Oh, you're the guy. Oh, you're awesome. Yay. New guy on the block. Wrong. He's been doing that for 10 years. You just now noticed. So don't be that, that person who shows up and says, hey, I'm awesome at this. Boom. I'm going to be rich tomorrow. Not going to happen. You're not just going to pop out of nowhere and write a New York Times bestseller. You're not going to come up with the next Facebook. You're not going to come up with all this other crap. Do this amazing thing without putting in the time and the work. Exactly, Chris. Chris Kulik. Gulick, I'm sorry. Love what you do. Do what you love. Don't do it for the praise. Exactly. So just get out there and make it happen. So somebody throw up a Kiltology. Um, I'm going to, I need to uh, wet the whistle a wee bit. Back to the old um, McClellan's because Bone Wars are gone. Hey, Angela. So, oh, I forgot the most awesome thing. So, many, 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 many moons ago, one of the uh, folks in the Brotherhood of the Kilt sent me a gift in the mail one day. Check this action out. This showed up. I know it's backwards on the video. But, oh, look, it's a, it's a license plate. So look at the back. It's imprinted. How awesome is that? Very, very cool. Thing is, I'm not in Canvas, so it goes on the wall. It's very awesome. So we got a couple of votes for Volume 2. I need that banner for our new house. What, that? You don't want that for the house, Chris, because it's actually printed backwards. I showed you that in the last one because if you look, I happened to do this. I had to I had to fight with my truck. You notice? That's printed right. It's backwards. That looks right, but it's not. So, volume two. What do we got going on here? Contacts. Ah. So, this. Wow. Again. All right. Somebody needs to keep tabs. How many times the book opens and right there it applies to the um, applies to the episode. Again. Today we're talking about putting in the effort, putting in the time, the work, and grinding it out to succeed. Today's Kiltology is number 296. Contacts. If there was ever anything that Kilties did very well, it was generate a very lengthy list of contacts. There's two reasons for this. You got that? One, two. People naturally gravitate to a man in a kilt. They want to hang out with the cool people. Fact. Anyone wearing a kilt obviously has the balls and determination to get things done. That's what people want. Especially the lasses. So. Yes, Emily. Yeah, see, my brain's not square today so um i spent the day working in my garage by the way see so much more room yay i have space to do stuff now so i can build and do all kinds of fun stuff but how does this apply to what i've been talking about today so in business as a, and well, life in general i'm sure a vast majority of you already know this that old concept of it's who you know is dead on right. Treadmill, right there. There's, there's the treadmill. So, contacts. It's all about who you know. So what does that mean? That means that when you're putting the time in, you're putting in the effort, you're putting in the work, you're going to meet people. Because, number one, people want to go talk to the guy in the kill. Number two, people obviously have some predetermined assumptions about what the kilt means and they want to talk to that. So, go get out there, strap on your kilt, meet people, because odds are you will eventually run into someone who can help you with your business. Or you can help them with their business. 
and that snowballs over the years. Time, effort, putting in the work, and making it happen. That's how you're going to succeed. Showing up, paying somebody a bunch of money and expecting to get rich tomorrow, it's not going to happen. Just remember, imagine a fisherman showing up day one, hasn't even baited his hook yet, just throws it in the water, expects to get fish. That you're, you're trying to do the same thing. You're not even baiting the hook. You're just saying, nah, I want fish. It doesn't work. So go out there, kick some ass, do the work, make it happen, and be strong. Put a kilt on.